The natural harbour of Stranraer is only a few miles away and sits at the head of the sea loch, Loch Ryan. It is the nearest port to Northern Ireland and the giant ferries seem to dominate the townscape when in port. However, the busy harbour is full of a variety of yachts, fishing boats and lots of small craft. Stranraer even enjoys a fine beach when the tide is out. Its castle was the headquarters of Graham of Claverhouse, and many poor covenanters lay and perished in the dungeons. It continued this theme and in the 18th and 19th century served as the town jail. Near the pier, the Northwest Castle, now a hotel, was built in the form of a ship by the Arctic explorer Sir John Ross. His expedition to find the North West Passage led to the discovery of the magnetic North Pole in 1831. We leave town and head east, the short distance to Castle, Kennedy and Gardens. These are regarded as one of Scotland's finest gardens. The inspiration of the second Earl's Stair in the 1730s, the gardens are a magical landscape created on an isthmus between two large natural lochs. They extend to 75 acres of carefully landscaped terraces and avenues and contain at one end the romantic ruin of the 16th century Castle Kennedy with the 19th century Loch Inch Castle, seat of the current Earl and Countess of Stair at the other end. Indeed, Stair Estates own much of the land hereabouts, including a sizeable section of the Southern Upland Way. Close to the sea, and benefiting from the Gulf Stream, the gardens contain many tender and exotic plants, alongside the towering avenues that consist of many magnificent trees, planted from seed by the famous plantsman Joseph Hooker, and includes a number of national champion specimens. The charming tea room, gift shop and plant centre completes any visit. <laughs>